We emptied the entire drum magazine of a Tommy gun into the driver door Al Capone style. No bullets penetrated into the passenger compartment. The Tesla Cybertruck underwent Al Capone style bulletproof testing with a Tommy gun. CEO Elon Musk revealed on X. A video shared by a member of the Tesla Owners Club of Silicon Valley showed a Cybertruck driving down the highway with what appeared to be around 40 50 bullet holes in the driver's side of the vehicle. CEO Elon Musk revealed that the Cybertruck had an entire drum magazine of a Tommy gun emptied into the driver door Al Capone style, which revealed the truck would keep occupants safe as no bullets penetrated into the cabin. The testing is extreme, but the Cybertruck is an extreme vehicle. In 2019, when it was unveiled to the public by Musk and Tesla chief designer Franz von Holzhausen, the team attempted to show the durability and safety of the truck by slamming into the side of it with a sledgehammer, as well as a steel ball which resulted in a very public window breaking. Tesla filed for various parts of the Cybertruck to be capable of extreme durability. A patent revealed that the Cybertruck glass would be more durable and stronger than basically anything that is currently offered on the market. When the Cybertruck made an appearance on Jay Leno's garage in 2021, Musk was asked by the former late-night TV show host why anyone would want bulletproof, armored glass on their truck. Because it's badass, and it's super cool, Musk said. Do you want your truck to be bulletproof or not? Musk has hinted in the past that the Cybertruck will be the finest in apocalypse protection technology, satirically hinting that add-ons like the boring company flamethrower would be available. However, we can see it would survive some incredibly treacherous conditions, including a war zone, it appears. Picture yourself in a family pickup truck with safety and bulletproof features on par with the U.S. President's Cadillac, the Beast. Well, that would surely be a major advantage, and Tesla's Cybertruck offers just that. What do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Now, let's dive into the Cybertruck's battery manufacturing a crucial milestone on the path to large-scale production and delivering it to customers. How is it going inside Tesla's factory? Tesla is already working on cells, specifically for the Cybertruck at Gigafactory, Texas. Tesla Cybertruck cells yield 10% higher energy than Model Y4680 cells made in Giga Texas's battery production line. The Cybertruck cell, with 10% higher energy than our Model Y cell, started production on Line 2 in Texas. This quarter, we convert to building 100% Cybertruck cells to simplify and focus the factory as we ramp all four lines in Phase 1 over the next three quarters, said a Tesla executive during the third quarter earning call. Tesla has plans to build Phase 2 of Giga Texas's 4,680 facility. Phase 2 is already under construction at Tesla's headquarters. It will add four more lines to the factory's battery cell production. Tesla aims to start cell production in Phase 2 by late 2024. Giga Texas's battery cell production will eventually split into two phases, one dedicated to Cybertruck cells. In the fourth quarter, Tesla will focus on converting Giga Texas's battery production line to concentrating on Cybertruck cells. Cybertruck cell production will be the main focus of Giga Texas's battery assembly line for the next three quarters, up to Q2 2024. Tesla Cybertruck deliveries will start on November 30, 2023. The company is still in the pilot production stage for the Cybertruck. Tesla's CEO noted that it will take some time before the Cybertruck production hits full speed and yields positive cash flow for the company. A lot of people are excited about Cybertruck. I am, too. I've driven the car. It's an amazing product. I do want to emphasize that there will be enormous challenges in reaching volume production with the Cybertruck, and then in making a Cybertruck cash flow positive, commented Musk at the latest earnings call. So what makes Cybertruck's charging stand out compared to its predecessors? Tesla Cybertruck will equip an 800-volt architecture when it begins deliveries on November 30, an announcement that is still fresh from the company's earnings call. For EV newbies, the 800-volt architecture may not be much of a head-turner. However, to those who have been following the industry at all, 
800 V architectures are the way of the future for the EV industry, especially as more electric cars are on the road, charging times continue to be a concern to some, and heavier all-electric cars are becoming more available. Throughout the various automakers, Tesla confirmed what many believed for a long time. The Cybertruck would equip an 800-volt architecture. What are the strengths of an 800-volt architecture? It comes down to charging times, efficiency, margins, and weight. All things that are important to the company and its products, as well as its financial status. From a macro standpoint, Tesla's financials are still strong. But Musk and company were not shy about warning investors and analysts about the upcoming economic headwinds it would encounter. It's a market-wide issue and not just a Tesla issue. As Tesla plans to launch the Cybertruck, interest rates are high, discouraging consumers from wanting to finance anything. Additionally, Musk confirmed it may take 18 months for the Cybertruck to be a positive cash flow contributor to Tesla's financials. The 800-volt architecture will improve margins on the vehicle instead of other EV architectures that may have been considered. It said explicitly in its Q3 shareholder deck, for very heavy vehicles, a high-voltage powertrain architecture brings notable cost savings, which is why Cybertruck will adopt an 800-volt architecture. From a cost perspective, 800-volt architectures are void of as much copper throughout the vehicle, which reduces weight. Weight reductions improve performance and range. Earlier today, we reported on the Cybertruck VIN decoder, which was released by the NHTSA. It revealed the Cybertruck has two weight classifications. The vehicle's gross weight has two classes, GU which would be between 8,001 and 9,000 pounds, and H which is between 9,001 and 10,000 pounds. 800 volt architectures have greater efficiency because they allow electricity to move from the battery to the wheels with a lower current. This ultimately reduces the amount of power that is lost to heat and higher voltage lower current architectures can move the same amount of power with thinner wires, which relates to the reduction in copper that was mentioned previously. 800 volt architectures are big for the future of EVs, even outside of Tesla's. Tesla EVs are far from the first cars on the market to equip an 800-volt architecture, as the Porsche Taycan had an 800V build back in 2018 when the German company unveiled the specs for its introductory EV. Faster charging is the biggest advantage as they can handle greater outputs from superchargers. The V4 supercharger from Tesla, for example, has a 350Q output, enabled by increased amperage and current ratings. This will keep EV owners at the superchargers for less time, making charging more efficient and allowing more people to access chargers by decreasing congestion. As usual, we appreciate your insights on this recent update from Tesla and the Cybertruck, so don't hesitate to express your thoughts in the comments section down below. That wraps up today's episode. We want to express our sincere gratitude for tuning in to Techstars. If you found this video enjoyable, Kindly give it a thumbs up, share it with others, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you can stay updated on the latest developments in the world of electric vehicles. We eagerly anticipate reconnecting with you in the days ahead. Until then, take care and stay safe.